how to set up google analytics in 2022 hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up google analytics with your website so having said that let's just jump into the video but before i do that what is google analytics it's basically a web analytics service offered by google that tracks and reports website traffics and website views and website conversions as a platform inside google marketing platform brand and uh, it's pretty amazing it lets you you know keep an eye on your business see what you're doing right see what you're doing wrong you know uh, tweak a little bit of things you know fix your google ads campaign a little bit better you know everything just you know falls into it so it's really nice and you can easily you know connect it with your website so let me just show you so just simply search for google analytics and click on google analytics over here and just simply sign in with your google account and then just enter in your password and once you've done that just simply wait for a second and boom you're good to go so over here i already have like you know google analytics installed onto my website so let me just show you how you can do that so if i come over here and I click on this button over here actually if i come over here and click on admin and over here i have to basically create a new you know property so when you you know uh created an account this is how it's basically gonna look like you're gonna have to you know create a property you're gonna name that property you're gonna you know give yourself a time zone change the currency and stuff like that and then you can move on so let me just go ahead and do that so over here we'll just call it uh tsg 2.0 and uh, you can change your you know reporting time zone to anything you want and your currency as well so let me just change it to usd boom there you go just simply click on next and then they want to basically ask you some business information some basic business information uh such as what is your industry category so you can choose your category over here of your industry which are one it falls into let's and you can even search for it let's just say uh media if i can find it over here uh no let's just say um ads over here no that's not it either let's just say online communities and then they're gonna ask you so your business size so you can have like employee size over here one to ten employees yeah that's good we're gonna do that and then over here they're gonna ask you how do you intend to use google analytic with your business all right take all the things that apply you know towards your business so choose whichever option you want over here and move on so i would say that uh, measure your customer engagement with your site or app sure i would like to have that optimize my site app experience sure why not measure data across multiple devices or platforms actually know that well just keep that unchecked and then optimize my advertising costs yes i would like to have it optimized increase my conversion of course measure content monetization analyze you know my online sales measure app installation measure lead generation um sure we'll go with this one uh measure app installation and simply click on create and then just simply wait for a couple of seconds for it to be created and boom here you go so this is how it looks like over here this is the google analytics you know reports over here this is going to be your property over here and the next step is to set up a data stream to start collecting data it's going to you know measure data from your website or from your you know property that you've created so you have web you have android and you have ios so choose whichever application you want and then it's going to show you what to do so since we are here to you know create a website you know we want to implement with our website you can do it with others but for me i'm just simply going to go ahead and do it with website the way is going to be you know similar so simply click on web and over here just simply enter in your website and your stream name so over here just simply enter in the website that you want and just simply do that and then over here just simply add in the name of your website and then just simply click on create stream wait for a couple of seconds for it to be created and boom here you go so this is how it looks like this is going to be your stream over here it's going to collect your data and show you everything you know once the site is live so next thing what we want to do is we want to open up our website in another you know tab so i have a wix website so let me just go ahead and open that up and log into it and then show you what is the next step just go ahead and log in actually all right so let me just open this up real quick um wix.com all right here we go so these are the websites that i have over here that i created so let's just go ahead and select this website over here actually go into my website and over here click on this site that we want to you know 
create the data stream on actually i already have that over onto that website so let me just go ahead and open up the other one so that we can add the google tag on the other website so we'll go over here onto my site so over here let me just open you know make this bigger so over here once you on the dashboard of your website what you're going to need to do is you're going to go over here underneath marketing and seo and you're going to have this one over here marketing integration so you're going to click on marketing integration underneath marketing and seo it's going to open up and you'll be arrived over here into the integration store where you will see google analytics so simply click on connect and to connect it you're going to need to add you know uh google analytics id but it's for the premium plan so i guess i would have to you know switch back to my premium website so let me go ahead and do that it's a good thing that i bought it early on i knew something like this would happen to it so again marketing and seo go underneath you know go to marketing and integration underneath marketing and seo open up the integration store and you will see google analytics and you will see i've already connected it's pretty simple just simply click on view and you will need to add google analytics id over here once you click on it just simply add in the google id code that begins with g and you can find that over here onto your property stream underneath measurement id this will be your code that you need to add over here the google analytics id just simply copy it and once you click over onto this button you will paste the code and just simply click on ok and you'll be done and then google analytics will be connected to the website and you are good to go so that's how you basically connect google analytics to your website next you can do a bunch of other things such as google ad links ad manager links you know big query links other you know google products that you can you know implement and work on so over here as you can see no link yet click link to create one so if you click on link you will be able to create a link to you know your google ads account so over here choose your google ads account that you have if you don't have it just simply click on confirm just simply add your google ad account over here from this list and you can move on same thing with all these other products as well such as google manager links big query links display video 360 links video console search you know have a bunch of different options over here so but the main thing was we need to you know create a property and connect it to our website and now that that's done we are good to go so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day so don't worry about it so having said that thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time take care and goodbye